Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the DC TV shows. We've got a bunch of new stuff to go through, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So what we're going to be talking about in today's video is an article that came from comicbook.com. So basically we got some updates as to when Vancouver will allow people to start filming, so therefore... We need to talk about this because it's to do with our CWDC TV shows. Also, we've got a statement from the showrunner of Batwoman as to what they're doing with, you know, Kate Kane. Because Kate Kane is not being recast. They are making a brand new character to be Batwoman. So we're going to be going over that. Also, some of you guys have sent in a few questions as in regards to what happened to Ralph Dibney the other day. A.K.A. you know, Hartley Sawyer was fired from The Flash. We've got some questions, and I'm going to answer some of those. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this. First things first, I want to talk about the Batwoman stuff, because I think this is quite important. This has been making rounds on social media today. So this is a note from Caroline Dries, and it's on behalf of the whole Bat team, the whole Batwoman team who work behind the show, behind the scenes. And so this is what it says, as a lesbian who's been working as a writer for the past 15 years, I'm well aware of the burying your gaze trope and I have no interest in participating in it. That's why it's important to me as the showrunner to clarify any misinformation out there about Kate Kane and recasting Batwoman. Like you, I love Kate Kane. She's the reason why I wanted to do the show. We'll never erase her. In fact, her disappearance will be one of the main mysteries of season two. I don't want to give any of our surprises, but all our devoted fans please know that LGBTQ plus justice is at the very core of what Batwoman is, and we have no intention of abandoning that. So that is a statement that has just come out from Caroline regarding what's going to be happening with Kate Kane in Batwoman. So basically what she is referring to as in regards to the misinformation going online, particularly since, you know, a few days ago when, you know, some of the castings went out regarding the new lead character of the Batwoman show, basically saying that they won't recast Kate Kane. Basically, Kate Kane is going to go away. And so, you know, you'll have this new character called Ryan Wilder, and this is what we're going to be dealing with. So they didn't clarify it because this wasn't supposed to be leaked online, but it was leaked online. So it got out there into the world and basically people started theorizing and I mean, so was I, so I'm guilty of this. But, you know, I think when a lead character leaves the show, we have the right to sort of assume that they're probably going to get killed off if it's like a superhero show. Because so many superheroes and so many characters just get killed off when, say, an actor leaves or something like that. So, I mean, it wasn't too far-fetched, but we are completely wrong and Caroline has actually clarified that... What is going to happen is, because they love Kate Kane, they never want to erase her. So in fact, she's just going to disappear. And so it's kind of going to be like what happened to Bruce Wayne, you know, at the start of the season with that whole mystery regarding, you know, where is Bruce Wayne, who is Batman, where is Batman. So I guess it's going to be pretty similar, but it's apparently going to be a mystery going on into season two. So I'm guessing they're going to explore it a bit. And Ryan Wilder will supposedly be looking into it. And maybe this new character called Ryan, who we don't actually know if her name is going to actually be Ryan in the end. Basically, is she going to have some sort of acquaintance with Kate's family? That's also a big thing that I get out of this statement is the fact that I think her family is going to stick around, that being Kate's family. And you're going to have Ryan sort of take up the mantle of Batwoman, but still be involved in her family goings on. So... I'm guessing she's going to be exploring some of that mystery as to the disappearance of Kate Kane. So, I guess it's just very nice to get confirmation from the showrunner as to what's going to be happening with Batwoman. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing. This comes from comicbook.com. It's been reported in various places online, but this is where I'm reading it off from. So, this is in regards to Vancouver, when film and TV can start reopening in their first steps to resuming productions in Vancouver. So this is how it goes. Vancouver is one step closer to resuming film and television production amid the coronavirus pandemic. According to British Columbia government's Creative BC's new COVID restart guidelines, the motion picture industry can now begin restarting production. 
though there are still a few steps remaining before series such as the CW shows are able to start filming again. Last week, British Columbia's Workplace Safety Authority, WorkSafe BC, published health and safety protocols for the motion picture industry, noting that employers are required to develop COVID safety plans to outline what they have put in place to reduce the risk of transmission of the illness. And so this is in quotes, employers are required to develop a COVID-19 safety plan that outlines policies, guidelines, and procedures they have put in place to reduce the risk of COVID-19 transmission, as the guideline reads. This is again from the guideline. This plan follows the six steps outlined on COVID-19 and returning to safe operation. Employers must involve frontline workers, joint health and safety committees, and supervisors in identifying protocols for their workplace. Okay, so the big thing here is actually in the next part of the article because the borders between the United States and Canada are currently closed and they're going to be closed until at least June 21st and that closure extends to June 30th to try and get into Canada from other countries. So there's also a 14-day self-quarantine that is in place for anyone coming to Vancouver from outside the area, including Canadian citizens. So film and TV production can start but they have to go through all these protocols because they won't be able to actually enter the country. Obviously a lot of the CW's crew who make the show behind the scenes are going to be in Vancouver who probably do live there. However, most of the actors are American. Yes, there are some Canadians who will be fine. However, most of them are American and they live in LA and they won't actually be able to fly out until past June 21st in America from America to Canada and they would also have to go through the 14 day self quarantine if you know the quarantine plans are still in place by the time they actually plan to return. So I think as in regards to RCW shows I think they may do the 14 day self isolation thing for the actors and for the showrunners who have to be there and for the cast and crew who obviously live in America. However I think there is a possibility that they may wait till like late July when potentially there won't be the 14 day self isolation thing. So they might actually delay it a bit more because I don't think they're that itching to get back because they've got a long time. Their shows are going to be premiering in January. They've given themselves time. So I don't think it's like the CW is like desperate to go back to film right now. I think they can wait like a month longer, you know, at the end of July or something. And maybe they won't have to do that 14 day self isolation. But the thing is, I guess it's very possible because most of the main actors on the show do have apartments in Vancouver because they live there most of the year. So I don't think it will be the worst thing in the world. They're not going to have to like stay in hotels unless, you know, some of the new cast members perhaps don't, you know, have places that they live there. But for the main cast members like Grant, Candace, Danielle, Carlos, Tom, like I really think it would be fine for them to do the isolation thing because they have their own apartments there and their own houses and stuff like that. So, you know, I think it's a toss up if how desperate the CW gets to want to start filming. And if they're really desperate, they will go for this at the end of June. They'll do the two week isolation thing and then they will start. Otherwise, you know, I think it could be like late July that they return. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing. This is a few questions from you guys on YouTube. There'll be another video when I answer all of the questions that you guys have sent in recently on the community tab, which I've been doing recently. So I really like those videos, but this is just two questions we're going to be going over. Okay, so this comes from Annie Painter on YouTube who asks, now that Hartley Sawyer is no longer going to be in season seven of The Flash, is his character, Ralph, going to be recast? So this is something that people brought up online over the past few days since the announcement that Harley Sawyer has been fired from The Flash due to, you know, some stuff that he did in the past. I talked about that in a video like a few days ago. Please be sure to go check that out because I explain my full thoughts and everything in that video. So is he going to be recast? Obviously there is a possibility because, you know, the elongated man's powers are he can shapeshift, he can change his appearance. but. That wouldn't really excuse it, I don't think, in my opinion, like for him to walk around with just being like a different actor like normally, because he always goes back to his normal self, and yeah, he can change, but that's not normal to him, and that would be very jarring if someone was trying to play Ralph and tried to be like, oh, this is actually Ralph, but guess what? His face is different, 
and also his voice would be different. So, you know, I don't think recasting is an option here. I think they just move on without Ralph. Let's move on to the next question. This comes from Glacier the Ice Swing on YouTube who asks, The news about Ralph was quite sudden. Will the show have a proper way to end him in Season 7, or will he just not appear at all and have the Season 6 ending? So, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're not going to have a proper way to end him in Season 7. Maybe there is one throwaway line about where he goes, maybe he dies or something like that, or maybe he just disappears kind of like Batwoman or something. But I think we're going to have to stick with the Season 6 ending for Ralph, because, yeah, he probably shot stuff in Episode 20, which is going to be retooled to be episode one of the next season they're definitely going to cut out those scenes for sure like there is no way that they're going to include those ralph scenes so i think you know the season six ending is going to be the proper ending i don't think they're going to have a way to end him in season seven i think it would just disappear die or just go away you know so that's my thoughts on the matters that we talked about in today's video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys later goodbye I see red.